Hi. Hi. It's raining it in Epcot. Yeah. It's been raining this whole time. Yeah. But we're very excited about this one. Yeah, we're excited to uh, try it with you guys. Dinner at the Fumi K. Is that how you say it? I, well, it's as good as I know. Yeah. Let's go. Editor Dan, future Dan, whatever you want to call me, um, I'm here at the We Went to Disney headquarters. Um, I just want to give you guys a heads up. So you're about to see a review of Takumi Tei, which is awesome, by the way. Trust me, you'll hear us say that many times. Um, but I wanted to give you guys just a little bit of a heads up. It is a little dark. It's very dark, actually. Um, not tone, obviously. Um, but it's hard to see. Uh, you can hear us just fine. But what happened was, I'll explain what happened, is that we got out of Takumi Tei. We loved it. And we didn't want to wait until we got back to the room to talk about it. So we tried to find um, in Epcot, you know, in the World Showcase, like a well-lit area where you can also hear us, where it wasn't too uh, loud. But it was also sunset time. So you'll see in the beginning that you can see us. Uh, it's a little hard to see us, but you can, you can see us. And then as the sun starts to go down, it becomes harder and harder to make us out. Um, so I'm sorry about that, but I didn't want to cut it because, you know, I think you should hear what we have to say because we loved it. And yeah, so I just want to give you a heads up. I didn't want you to look at it and be like, what am I looking at here? This looks terrible. Well, that's what happened. So hope you enjoy and I'm sorry. Takumi Te. Oh my God. Okay. You guys. Yeah. So first of all, that was the most amazing dining experience I've ever had in my life. I have not eaten at Victoria and Albert's, so I can't really compare. Yeah. But I would say that compared to all other Disney restaurants, this is pretty much right up there with it. If not, you know, just like maybe a hair below, but it's pretty, pretty equivalent, I think. Yeah. Having not done Victoria and Albert's at all. Yeah. Uh, first, the uh, decor. It's just beautiful inside. When they bring you in, we didn't record all that much in there because we wanted to be respectful. Um, although you can record, we just didn't want to be in people's faces. We don't want to be walking around the place like recording everything in there because that would have been a little intrusive. Yeah, but. it's not kid friendly. Like I mean, I'm sure there were children in there yeah. for sure, a couple here and there, but 
it's definitely like a date night or an anniversary or like a celebration type of meal. It's not really meant for like going out with the kids. Yeah. It's definitely an experience in itself. Definitely, definitely, definitely a date night type of thing, especially in cases uh, celebrating something. Yeah. Um, I mean, <laughs> there. We, we we did a lot of talking about this place while uh, we were in there and I was like we can't we can't keep talking to it. We're gonna lose a lot of stuff. Yeah, There's a really. lot of things on our mind. Yeah, no, so okay, so first when you walk in, it's they the room that you sit in is based on um, I think it's it's like the elements kind of, but there are yeah. not it's not just fire, water, earth and yeah, there was Wind. like fiber it's, and stuff. Yeah, there's, was... there's. So we were in the paper room. Yes. Which is beautiful, beautiful, and I'm sure you've recorded some of that, right? Oh uh, yeah, you'll yeah. you've seen it by now. <clears throat> it's beautiful. So it's you know, and it's small. All the rooms are really small. There were six tables in each room, and not all the tables were filled while we were in there. It was very quiet and low key, and it was very relaxing. It felt like being in a spa that's how relaxing it was it really just like from the second you walk in you feel like you're in you're just tr it's an experience yeah like if you've ever done a disney cruise and you've done the <laughs> senses spot or even on property yeah done that senses. too it's like that in a restaurant form yeah it's I mean, that it's, calming it's that relaxing it's, it's amazing it's, yeah I, we, we okay so food wise um we we were told by a friend to do the tasting menu yes and now. we took their advice yes and, and we're we, very glad we did we do not regret it at all no <laughs> so the tasting menu it, it's 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 like a seven course meal yeah it's now i'll, I'll just say it it's 130 per person right so and you definitely need you definitely need if you you definitely need two like if there's two of you you each need to have your own i mean unless you wanted to do one of you do it and then someone else orders something else and you guys just kind of like share everything yeah but it's meant to be individualized if you're going with somebody else and you're both interested in it then i would say you each get your own it's a little it's a little up there but it's definitely worth it we also did the pairing the um sake and wine pairing yep very good also. we are not huge fans of sakis but there was one thing that we did not really love yeah and that was it everything else was amazing yep. and it Everything really, paired very well. It really does. Like I know what they say, like oh pairing, but it really just went so well with every course. It was an, it was yeah. truly amazing. Like I'll just speak for myself. I'm I, I don't know if I made this clear by now. I'm not a very adventurous eater. No, he's not. So <laughs> when I looked at the menu and I saw that there were seven different things on this menu, I was like, if I can walk out of here with liking three of these things, yeah, that'll be a good that'll we be a good thing. Loved I loved everything. Every single thing, all seven of them. It was delicious. Things I've never had before. Had, I mean, like just to start. What do we even start? With? I, don't I even mean, the, know. <laughs> I, I I'll put the menu. That I'll put the whole thing on there. You'll see everything listed. You can just go in order what everything was. Um, things that jump out. Um, the sushi. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, just to be clear, neither of us are fans of sushi. Yeah. So that was the most. That was the course I was most nervous about because he had never had it before and I'm not a big fan, but I loved it. And I even said to the waitress, Akane is her name, and yes. she was amazing. Yes. And she, I was telling her, I was like, you know, I don't really like sushi that much. And then I tried it and I told her, this was the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. It doesn't even taste fishy. Like, I, I don't even know. And then we, one of them was sea urchin, you know, and that, she was saying how it's a delicacy in Japan. I'm sure she wasn't lying to us, but it was so good. And then she was it comes in a rice bowl, so it's like everything is round. And she was telling us that the reason for that is because when the geishas had to eat it, it was like, because they wear a lot of makeup, you know? it Eating sushi the traditional way was difficult for them and it would mess up their makeup. So the round sushi was created yeah. so that they could eat it more easily and not mess up their makeup. So. Thank you, Geishas. Yeah, she was very informative. <laughs> also, if you go in there and you feel like you're out of place, they, you have any questions whatsoever, they have no problem. They were so accommodating, yeah. and we know next to nothing. And we just, all we did was express the interest in learning. Yep. And they were so grateful yeah. to teach us and to guide us. Yeah. And it was really, I mean, I was grateful even just to, uh, to experience it really oh, yeah. it was I, 
I, I mean, I can't single out one part well, of the meal. Like also, it, also, okay, so the main course really is the Wagyu beef. So you get American Wagyu beef, yeah, and then you get Japanese Wagyu beef. I have never had Wagyu beef ever, Me any neither. American or Japanese. I don't think, I, and I'm a big steak lover. I could never go back. <laughs> I don't think eating just regular steak. I mean, it was even, that good. Even the things to go with the steak. Yeah, the accompaniments oh. were amazing. The wasabi, it was fresh wasabi. Yep. I mean, it was it was just a whole nother level of dining. So if you're interested in, in any kind of out there experience or something new or something a little more daring or something that's a little bit more, you know, fine dining, I would definitely say you need to try it. Yeah. You really need to. It's so good. I, I, it's so good. And we didn't have the duck. I wanted to try oh, the yeah, duck, yeah. but it's not part of the tasting menu. But we saw the people across from us got the duck and it comes out, it smelled amazing. It looked amazing. Like I just think it was so it was Look, I, it was I, an event. It's an experience. I, I can't say enough good things about this place. It's true. If, if you're gonna go, and you you got you want to go for date night, you want to yeah. celebrate somebody's birthday, anniversary, whatever it may be, I cannot recommend this enough. And also, so if you're looking good. to propose, this is a nice place to do it. Yeah, I even said to Victoria, I was like, you know, if we weren't already married, like this would have been engagement dinner. Yeah. It was no, exactly. it's really that good. Yeah. And then at the end, <clears throat> you have a tea ceremony with, mm. the, with the, you know, with the, um, with the tasting menu. And I mean, they even told us they're like, oh, we, you know, we tried to condense it a little bit and modify it to fit because otherwise, it's. I think they said a thousand steps. Yeah. There are a thousand steps to the tea ceremony, and I was very interested in that because I've read a bunch of books and a lot of them have. You wanted all a thousand steps. I did, yeah. but. <laughs> I understand so I was excited to experience that and just the moment that you take to appreciate that yeah is truly amazing and I just think that and, it, it, and it's so much more than just picking up and drinking it they go over like they go the over proper way of drinking it right and, and and the meaning behind it and it's so yeah just there's there's it just takes you out of your busy situation and running around the parks or living your busy life or work or whatever whatever you're stressing yeah. about and it just transports you to another area and you are just completely in that moment and it's so worth and it and you know last night we ate at uh Tepanito. yes and that was the first time i'd eaten there i know you'd eaten there plenty of times before have. and i was like this is the best meal that we've had so far and it and is a delicious meal it is i don't i don't mean to slide that in any way but it lasted 24 hours when we ate here and yeah. this is the best meal that we've had so far this is the best dining experience i think i've ever had yeah. and i think everybody should try it yeah. and everybody should do the tasting menu because and i know it's a big chunk of money i mean i'm not gonna lie it was a splurge but but if you treat this as a special event yes you will not be disappointed you will you not will, you will get every penny worth of what it you is spend. so amazing yeah. i really i can't I don't even have anything like i can't even say it enough it's amazing do it. <laughs> you know do it right you now you should do it go online book it, book it. <laughs> Just do it. And, and then just tell to us be when clear, you book it. We're not advocating it in any way. We're not being paid. We're not being, no. no one asked us to. We just loved it that much. No, we paid them. <laughs> we did pay them. <laughs> we just loved it that much. Yeah. And we think you will too. So book it. Enjoy it. Yes. And tell let us, us know. Yeah. Let us know what you love and what you hate about it. Yeah. But I will say, this is a side note. You should not go in there expecting to be done in like an hour. Yeah. This is a two hour minimum. Yeah. Two hour minimum. We went in, our reservation was at 640. We got there a little early around 610. Yep. And we were seated pretty quickly. Um, and I think out of there by 810. I think, no, it was later. A little later? It was okay. later. It, I think 820, 25, 830 okay. around there. So we were there for over two hours. Yep. And it didn't feel that way, but yeah, so just don't, be aware. Don't, don't plan fast passes Don't tell the babysitter this. you're going to be back in an hour and a half. You're not. This, this is your night, but yes. it, it's a good night. Yes. Yeah. And just, you know, just own it. Just own it. Just own it. Just own it. Yeah. You'll love it. <laughs> you will.